These are the plaintiffs, James and Marsha Alexander. James says he and his wife, Marsha, purchased a custom couch from the defendant's furniture store. And when they received it, that thing was lumpy, bumpy, and looked like someone had been sitting on it for 10 years. The defendant told them this was the best couch he sells and said there was nothing wrong with it. But when their friends came over and saw it, they laughed. They're suing for the return of their $3,442, the amount owed for their bad couch. This is the defendant, Richard Guglielmetti. He says the couch was made according to the plaintiff's specs, and it was custom built and delivered. They complained immediately, so he sent his rep out there to make some changes for them at his expense. They re-delivered the improved couch. The plaintiffs paid, and then a week later put a stop payment on the check. He thinks the plaintiffs got buyer's remorse and are now trying to force him to give them a full refund, which he refused. He's accused of couching the issue. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $2,463.37 for the balance due and a stopped check fee. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff bought a couch from the defendant's store, and it was lumpy and bumpy. But the defendant says that they went the extra mile for the plaintiffs. It's the case of so far, not so good. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. James Alexander and Marsha Alexander. Yes. You are suing the um, defendant's <clears throat> company for $3,442, a deposit that you paid for a sectional sofa that you want to return. And he's counterclaiming you $2,463.37, the balance that you owe on it, plus the stop payment fee. What happened? What happened was that on May 23rd last year, we went to the, his store and spoke to two salespeople and told them we wanted a custom sofa. It will be the highest quality, cushions aligned, non-lumpy, no creases, and will last for a very long time. The salespeople told us that if we spent $6,000, we would get this kind of a sofa and we would have what we wanted for our entire life. Upon receiving the sofa upon delivery... Wait, did you sit on the sofa and oh, yes. see it in person? Yes. They carried the same line there, but because the sofa was not there that we got. They okay. carried the, hard, yeah. the line, the hard line. Right, so you picked it out of... A catalog. A catalog. But got they it. also had on the floor three of the same sofas made by that company. I got gotcha. you. Okay. All right, so what, what's in your hand? Okay, what's in my hand is the sofa that <clears throat> we were told we would be getting. Okay, can I see? They're similar to it. I'm not sure if it's the exact sofa. Okay. And what ends up happening? And what ends up happening <clears throat> is what we received. These are, pi <clears throat> these are pictures that we took uh, like a day or two after they, were, they delivered the second time. And, and we did put a stop check. Wait, the, wait. The Do you have pictures the from the first time? No, because he came out <clears throat> and he agreed they would take it back. And he, yeah. They wanted us to provide them a list, which we did. So when and they came out the first a time... A list of what? What you felt was wrong? Yeah, so we gave them a list of eight different things to be fixed after the first delivery. So the delivery didn't stay there. They took the... They the took it back, okay. and they told us if we would detach the cushions, it would come <clears> back to us nice, aligned, straight, tightly stuffed. When it was re-delivered to us again in November, it did not come that way. That list was given to them in August, it was not followed. Only one of eight things was correctly done. And he promised he would it's do those for us. All right, now, it. what's wrong with the sofa the second time? I have these pictures that you put into evidence. What I'd like you to do is go up to the either one of you, whoever wants to, and yeah. tell me what to notice in the picture. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, you do it. Whoever, you, whoever wants. <clears throat> well, not both of you. Not both of you. Guys. <laughs> OK. All right. Well, see how these uh, cushions, they're, they're kind of they're, they're not aligned, and uh, this cushion here, I don't know if you can see it, but to me that doesn't look really straight, aligned. It, 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 it bows back. Yeah. It curves back, and and they're lumpy. I don't know. They're, they're just, if, I don't know. To me, they're lumpy, they're Did, saggy. Uh, is this something that you had asked on your list to overstuff yes. them? Yes. All right. No, 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 no. no. Yes and no. We, okay. We asked them to, to make them tight. So when you say on them, they wouldn't be... We didn't want lumpy cushions like this. So did they put more in it or less in it? 
We think he. We, I don't know. We what, don't know why he did it because he then promised second time. I'm closer to the microphone. We can't he hear. He promised when he came back second time. <clears throat> I'll take. I'll take them back and I'll try to fix them for you, but I can't promise anything. The second time they were delivered, we were also when we were complaining the second time. He agreed the second time, they weren't in the best quality. The second time. Even? This is after you stopped payment. Yes. Yes. Now we did stop payment because he was very emphatic that he wanted his money. He was very upset. He says, I want my money now. And so we had to get rid of him. So I just gave him a check and then we. But what good does it do to give him a check and then stop payment? You he just, wouldn't leave. He wouldn't leave. He's giving oh, me. He's giving yeah, me, then it does good. He's giving me All right. my pieces. <laughs> I want my money now. I'm not leaving. Yeah. I'm so and upset. I want my check. Who's saying that? He's physically he's at your house check. delivering. Screaming. Okay. Yes. He comes into the sofa, starts spraying the creases on the sofa, smoothing them with his hand, and says to me, Marsha, come to my store and I'll give you a free bottle of this to get out the creases whenever you want to get them out. Okay. Well, that's not going to happen. Go ahead and go back. Can I have you come here in one moment? Um, they've submitted into evidence some pictures, and I'd like to hear what you have to say about them. They're complaining about that gap. They're saying that they're not, you know, I mean, this isn't a discount sofa. It's a six thousand dollars sofa. That's right, you know? Your Honor, and it's a custom made sofa. Yeah, it can be custom made, right. but if it's and custom made poorly and it's you know right. for whatever reason, that's not a six thousand dollars sofa. And, and like they're talking about the gaps that are here that they're not lining up right. right um, that they're, you know, can you lift that up for me and bring it to him? Um, you know that it's overstuffed like that, and that it's so it's it's not straight. These are these are soft goods, Your Honor. Yeah. There, there's no way. Now, I have pictures that I can show you that I took. I bought sofas all my life. I understand. You know that, right? I, I am not a young woman. I understand. OK, I uh, so, um, so I know they're soft goods. They can't be perfect, perfect. but they can be better than this. I and, mean, they, and they are better than that, Your Honor. So what do you think? They're staging them for the pictures? I believe they are. I have pictures that I, have, I took at the house. Let's, do, let's see those. I really want to see those. <laughs> so how many times do you have to return a product before you can just say, I want my money back? One time. One time only. Wait, do you give them a chance, or the first time you get your money back? You give them a chance. Wow. You buy that? I think one time, too. Just one time. Do you give them one time, or do you the first time you get your money back? I think one time. You can ask for your money back. OK, going inside the courtroom. Give me the two cushions, please. These were taken by the factory representative. After, after time after, one, or after, after time the, two? After the stop payment. OK. And we did not touch the sofa. We came in the house and, pit and, and took photos as, as it was. Those are, the, those are the pictures we submitted to the factory after the second complaint. And the factory wrote back and said, and I have, um, I have a. Yeah, but see, like even this one, this is like almost an inch higher than these. Right, but that is a loose, that is a loose pillow back, Your Honor. It, it, it just takes a slight adjustment after you sit it. I would like to, so, OK. Well, so you're taking pictures of it like that, and the factory's saying, too bad, so sad? Because uh, all it does is normal uh, care to have it look right. I mean, these are loose. OK, but these are your pictures. Those and are... I would presume that when you take pictures, you're, it's the light most favorable to you. This c cushion is not the height of that cushion, nor is it the, the, the thick depth of these cushions. All those cushions are the same size if you straighten them out on the sofa. I did not want to touch them. I, want, I took pictures as it was sitting in the room after the second delivery. And the company's saying there's nothing wrong with that? Here's, here's what they've done to go it. Go ahead and go back. Yes, this is just a, a, a letter to you on January 20th saying, here's a summary of the work we did. I guess that's in preparation for court once you got sued, probably, right? Uh, yes. Um, but the, they're basically saying, we did a good job. Um, you know, I, um, I would feel better if you had done what you say would happen, and then they'd look great. If you had put them the way they're, I mean, you're taking these pictures to show the, the, the this is what the factory rep is taking. So when you're telling me, oh, judge, even in my pictures, if it looks bad, just ignore it, because all you have to do is fluff them, I'm having some difficulty with that. Where's the couch now? In our home. Uh, I know. I've had couches like this. Your Honor, this is a custom program. OK. Uh, when Mrs. Alexander complained at first uh, about the way it was lined up, I suggested to her that it would be better if we made a loose 
cushion back like she's brought in yeah. because that can be straightened out a uh, lot yeah. easier. Yeah. So that's what we did at, so at here's, my expense. Here's the, you, know, you would be winning this case 10 minutes ago. If the pictures you showed me that you took with the rep had a perfectly good-looking sofa that it just needs to be readjusted, well, because of course when you have all these cushions that could happen. I understand. Except that. for that, I, and I understand what you're saying, but it's as though you didn't have better pictures because your pictures also show this kind of of you know misalignment. But Your Honor, on any loose back sofa, the minute one person would sit on it, there would be a bit of a, a misalignment. Uh, people straighten it out when they right. get up. Right, so just give me a picture of it straightened out. Well, I didn't That's all you would have had to do to show me what, that what but you just I said didn't is feel true. It was because my place watch to this, touch hold on. The sofa in their Does house. it straighten out? No, it doesn't. Right, act. so no. the way to counteract that is to just go when you and your representative are taking pictures and push it back and push it forward and I'll do what you got to do to make it look pristine and to say, hey, lady, you can't be unreasonable. There's 100 cushions here. They're soft. You're going to have to adjust them. Right, you it. know, we all have to adjust them. That part right. is fine. The problem I'm having is that every picture of the couch shows them not aligning. So even yours show them not aligning. So I can't, you can't just tell me, oh, judge, don't worry, your pretty little head. Those would align if you just, because I can't buy it since even your pictures that you took as proof show that, you know, a bit of a problem. And now, I, let's, you're, let's you're, discuss something. Let's, may, let's, may let's, now, everybody you? stop talking. Okay. I'm talking. Okay. I feel like um, if you're going to spend $6,000 on a sofa, you should get a $6,000 worth sofa. And there's just, there's a lot going on there that just doesn't look right to me. And your pictures don't show, they don't prove Oh, it's nothing. Just smooth it out. I get it. I've bought sofas my whole life. I know that you have. My kids will lie down, and yeah, the minute you get up, sure. stick it back in there, and put, you know, you have to poof. You have to poof all day long. I poof. I get it. Believe me. But this is in the craftsmanship, and it's it's disturbing. And I'm just I'm not gonna I'm I'm not gonna make them finish paying for it. And I'm gonna ask you to please pick it up from their home. So it's the three thousand four hundred and forty-two dollars minus the thirty-five dollar stop payment fee, because he shouldn't have to eat that. <laughs> um, so three thousand four hundred and seven dollars verdict for the plaintiffs. Good luck, folks. Thank, Thank you. you. So the plaintiffs prevailed to the tune of $3,400, Mr. Guglielmetti. You get the couch back. I How about that? Couch back, Doug. You know what the, the problem, the shame here is? Your own pictures cooked your goose yeah, I here. Know, I know. You I, should have straightened it I should have it straightened out. it out. No I didn't, I didn't want to because I wanted to show, you know, yeah. that I didn't touch it. But w Would you agree that this is not the greatest example of workmanship? No, I think the workmanship is fine, and I think it, really? just that the customer was unhappy with what their choices were and... We'll take it back. What are you going to do with it? Go sell it. You'll put it on the That's floor. Perfectly you sell it. Perfectly great sell it. Sure. <laughs> Hope you don't get it back again. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. The wrong way. Thank that you. way. Thank you very much. Now here come the Alexanders. Step over here, Sorry. please, yes. if you don't mind. Uh, your room's going to be empty when yes. they pick up the couch. Yes. What are you going to do now? We don't know. Go order another one somewhere? Right. Somewhere else? We, know. we all eventually need to Try get the money back. Try to get on our lawn chairs. And <laughs> okay, and then decide what to do. Well, yes. look, congratulations. You satisfied now? Yes, Oh, yes, sir. Thank okay, good so enough. Much. Okay, I'm very Thank happy. You. Thank you. Well, very glad happy. you're happy. Thank okay. you very much. It's what we want. Happy people in court. Right, Harvey? <laughs> yeah, well, that doesn't happen a lot, Doug. Uh, by the way, in this case, it, the, the product doesn't have to be perfect. But in this case, it was craft, it crafted just poorly, and there's no doubt it was defective.